Hi everyone, welcome to the CA classroom. Today we will be discussing the topic called AS3 cash flow statement. Now why does a company prepare a cash flow statement and attach this with the financial statements and distribute it to the shareholders of the company? Now, let's take a profit and loss account as an example. Let's say the sales is 500 and the purchases are 200 which leaves us with a gross profit of 300. All expenses comes to let's say 100 and my net profit is 200. Now can I tell that my net profit is 200 and therefore cash balance available with me in my pocket is also 200? Absolutely not. For example, let's say the entire sales is credit sales and this 500 is sitting in my balance sheet in the form of trade receivables then irrespective of what the other items are this entire net profit of 200 will not be in the form of cash but it will be in the form of my trade receivables let's say my purchases are cash and expenses few expenses are cash and few are non-cash expenses hence even though a company is making net profit for the current year the cash generated in the business might be positive or might be negative and hence we prepare a separate statement known as cash flow statement to identify how much cash is generated in the business. AS3 also drills down these areas into three areas. It says it wants to identify the cash generated in business from operating activities, cash generated in business from financing activities and cash generated in business from investing activities. Now let us look at the three different activities defined in AS3. In the previous section, we have understood the background as to why a company prepares a cash flow statement. It is to identify cash generated or cash spent within a financial year. AS3 also classifies the activities into three separate buckets to identify how much cash is generated from operating activities, how much cash is generated or spent in financing activities and how much cash is generated or spent in investing activities. Now, let us say a company has taken a bank loan of 10 crores. What is the entry I pass for this? Bank account debit to bank loan. This says I have generated cash of 10 crores this year in form of a financing activity. Meaning any activity in the form of financing, cash generated or cash spent will fall under the bucket of financing activities. What are the other examples other than bank loan? Either getting a bank loan or repayment of a bank loan. Next, if you pay dividend, you are paying dividend out of the share capital which shareholders are invested and hence it is your financing activity. Interest paid on bank loan or interest on debentures will also come under your financing activity. Next, let us say company has invested in new plant and machinery for 10 lakhs. Now, I am using the 10 lakhs I earned in the business in the current year or of the previous years and I am buying the new plant and machinery. So, I would like to know out of total cash spendings for the year, how much has been invested in assets. Same time, company can also sell plant and machinery and generate some cash during the year. You will identify how much the company has invested or how much the company has earned by selling the assets in, in which it has invested in the previous years. Let's say company is selling a part of its business, a business segment and generating some cash. Then we will know that out of the total cash that has been generated in the year, majority, substantial amount of cash has been generated only because company has sold a particular plant or a particular segment. We will also be able to identify if company is able to generate more cash in operating activities or financing or investing. It is a good sign if you are able to generate more cash through your operating activities. Financing we are, we are done, investing we are done. How to prepare the statement for 
investing and financing activities it is very simple it is just like a cash account where you debit all receipts and credit all payments now for financing and investing activities instead of an account we will prepare a statement a statement which shows first we will write all the additions cash inflows in investing or financing next we will write all utilization of cash and we will show the balance of cash generated from financing activities or cash utilized from financing activities or investing activities financing and investing is simple coming to cash from operating activities operating activities is basically your revenue from operations in schedule 3 or sales in your trading account by doing my basic operations how much cash i have earned for a company involved in real estate se sector where they construct houses and sell renting of houses and sale of houses will be their operating income but for a company in a manufacturing sector rental income will not be their income from operating activities it will more be like income from investment now it is important to identify what is the main operating business for a company to see what comes in your operating activities for operating activities we can find out the cash generated from business using two methods one method is this method just like a cash account we will prepare a statement add cash amount of cash sales less cash purchases balance is the cash add all cash incomes amount of cash received less all cash paid balance is the cash in hand this is called direct method financing and investing is also done using the direct method however for operating cash flows we have another method called indirect method indirect method of identifying how much cash is generated in business now we will look at what is this indirect method in the previous section we had briefly seen conceptually what is financing activity and investing activity and direct method in operating activities now let us see what is the indirect method in the indirect method the starting point is the net profit so first we will write net profit as per financial statements and write the amount next what we will do is we will add back all non cash expenditure we will add back all non cash expenditure example of non cash expenditure is your depreciation we will also add back other items in the debit of the profit and loss account which is above your net profit which relates to your financing activities expenses relating to financing activities example interest paid dividend paid if any over that because that will be separately considered in your investing and financing activities fourth next step will be computation of changes in working capital changes in working capital sir what is this very simple let us take creditors and let us assume creditors opening balance is 100 and closing balance is 70 how do you get this details question will have details for previous year values and current year values which is nothing but your opening and closing values now if opening balance is 100 and closing balance is 70 how did 100 become 70 it means Creditors account balance from 100 has decreased to 70. That can happen only if there is a debit of 30. What can be possibly the debit of 30? Payment to creditors. So whenever there is going to be a payment to creditors, there is going to be cash outflow. Therefore, any liabilities, not just creditors, standard rule is where closing balance is less than the opening balance. Let's say opening balance is 50, closing balance is 30. Whenever there is a decrease in balance, it means there is cash outflow. So you will write under liabilities section, cash outflow of 30. 
in this case. Let us move to the asset side. Let us take trade receivables. Let's say opening balance of trade receivables is 30 and closing balance of trade receivables is 20. Again, there is a decrease in balance. Opening balance is 30 and closing balance is 20. How is this possible? Let us look at the trade receivables account where opening balance is 30 and closing balance is 20. This can happen only if there is a cash collected during the year from my customers. Therefore, in asset side, if the balance is reducing, that means I have realized cash. So, you will add amount of 10. 30 will be in brackets, change in working capital, reduction in cash. 10 will be in positive impact. Credit us. Let us look at the opposite. Let's say opening balance is 20 and closing balance is 40. That means more cash is locked in the business. Opening balance is 20. Let us prepare a credit as account again. Where opening balance is 20 and closing balance is 40. How is this possible? Only if there is going to be more credit purchases. Now, instead of making a cash purchase, I am making a credit purchase. Instead of making a cash purchase, I am making a credit purchase by saving in cash. And therefore, the difference of 20 will be a positive cash inflow. So, the standard rule for liabilities, if balance decreases, negative impact. If balance increases, there is a positive impact. For assets, it is the opposite. If balance decreases, there will be positive impact on cash. And if asset balance increases, then there will be a negative impact on cash. So, you need to adjust for all this and find the total cash generated from operations. So, this is the structure for cash flow chapter. Now, how to present an exam? In exam, you will write particulars, two columns for amount. You will write the heading, cash flow statement for X limited for the year under 31st March 2020. Then you will write first, cash flow from operating activities. Then fill all the values and write total amount of cash flow from operating. Continue the statement. Second, cash flow from financing activities. Fill all the items here and write the total. And similarly for cash flow from investing activities. So many of you have studied this topic in school. What you study in school, cash flow, direct and indirect method. We have the same concept in CA intermediate. And that is why I rushed through the topic by just giving you an overall understanding. We will get a better control on this chapter by solving a few sums in the live class today. Thank you.